So you must probably wonder what I'm doing here. All I'm trying to do is just to crush our sodium hydroxide, which is in solid form, to use it as a catalyst for our so what solution. What are you doing, Miriam? Well, I'm detecting acetone. Okay. 0.7. Okay. Milliliter. Okay. With a pipette of five. Okay. Of benzaldehyde. This is benzaldehyde. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add it to our already. After adding the benzaldehyde. 10.5. 10.5. We have turned to this. Lemon, lemon, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Here is my classmate Maria. We're trying to do the synthesis of the benzyl so acid the of our solution with the magnetic stirrer. And after this process, we did okay, we so wash it with ethanol. This is my product. And then we leave it to like dry up. Then we did a recrystallization. I think I should make a different what video that explains so the synthesis. Like you said, you're not to solve it in normal routine. Anyway, stick to you guys. Thank you so much for I'll be showing you guys what I've been doing at the pharmacy. I'm doing my internship right now. Yeah, some of the challenges I'm gonna be telling you all. Okay, guys, so I'm on my way and I'm going into the pharmacy. Okay, guys, so I stay in a small city here in Lexica in North Cyprus. North Cyprus is actually under the Republic of uh, Turkey, so that's why they call it Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus. And they speak Turkish actually, and they speak Turkish Lira. So I'm out of my beauty. Let me show you guys my surrounding. So I'm out of my building and I'm going to catch the bus right now. Yeah, the school bus actually. Yo, 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 yo. Come along, guys. <laughs> Let me show you. Actually, I don't mind this. That, was it our place? There was an accident that happened there. <laughs> One day like that, guys. I was inside the house. You, you won't imagine the way the blasts. Oh my god! <laughs> it was as if my heart jumped out of my body. I thought it was an earthquake, guys. <laughs> it was not even funny. Ah, but thanks to God, there was no. I mean, casualties recorded. It was just an accident in the kebab shop. There, there was an explosion. So, so let me wait for the bus. This is the bus terminal. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna see you guys at my pharmacy. Okay, guys, yeah, the school bus didn't come home. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know. Those drivers, they just do like, they like. So maybe it actually came very, way much earlier than I got there. But from my school, it's o'clock and back is half past, like from where I stay. 
or then i don't know maybe it's actually left because i was there before half past but i don't know <laughs> what happened but anyways we moved i got a ride so okay guys so i'm at my pharmacy while i'm doing my internship so this is the pharmacy i'm doing my intern it's exam in turkish is pharmacy so good night then good night nasese <laughs> okay guys i'm speaking turkish <laughs> Gonna say hi. Say hello. Hey <laughs> okay, guys, so I'm at my pharmacy, and this week I'm actually finishing because I have a 20 days pharmacy internship to do. So today is Monday, and I have like four days to go. And I'm still trying to get all the names of these drugs in my head. <laughs> well, anyways, I've been learning, guys, trying to get familiar with the drugs. And Gona is so good. I mean, Chokuzel Gona is so good. <laughs> So yeah, I'm at the pharmacy already and I'm doing my internship. And actually the pharmacy is not always around because I think that event points soldier training. So it's the pharmacy technician that has actually been around and his name is Kona. You're gonna see him put a picture of but then the guy is so good, but it's the challenge is just the language change. I mean it's not really like good in English kind of so it's Turkish and my own Turkish is to the basics. <laughs> You know, I just speak the basics, so I'm still trying to like get the words together and all. Don't blame me. <laughs> Anyways, but then it's just like me being here, I'm trying to get familiar with the drugs, also to learn on my own. But when the patients bring their prescriptions, I check it out. I mean, check the drugs, what it's used for, how it's being used, and all. And it also like we use kind of translation and all to actually to get some words I trying to communicate. And oh, he's actually a very good person because he was writing me prescriptions, like telling me how it works, the Turkey system. Because the Cyprus, the drugs here, yeah, they they kind of related with the Turkey. You understand? Like I said. So this is the drug. The arrangement of the drugs at the shares are according to alphabetical order, then they are pharmacological order, like the effects of the drugs. So like analgesic. Najese, we have cold and flu, antibiotics. I mean, they just put them in the same section, but according to the alphabet, let me show you for instance now. That starts from A. A, we have the Advil, these are the analgesic painkillers. A, B, C, D, this is E. So it's kind of in alphabetical order for easy recognition at the pharmacy. So, and when the patient comes to buy like drugs, you check the system. System control is here, so we'll be able to check drugs in the pharmacy, the ones that are, that are remaining, are just like a stock control system. So, that's it. I've been here learning, and I have a 20 days internship, and I'm going to write a report for the 20 days, guys. <laughs> Anyways, I can do it. Fight it, fight it, fight it. So, yeah, thank you guys for coming. Hey, my beautiful people, it's drawback time. Okay, let me just take you guys down the memory lane of how it all started October 2017 at the pharmacy school. Here's okay, we're in the medical molecular biology lab. Here's the chemistry lab. And oh my god, see, I look so small here. Yeah. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, I think this was the first Christmas of my department, my faculty, this are my classmates. Oh okay, hey guys, so through uh, my experience at the pharmacy school, it's actually been an amazing one and I've kind of had this adequate you know, knowledge and then bonking the fact that you know most of us have this idea about pharmacy school, about you know, dispensing of medications and all, but it's actually so broad to so different aspects. Also known pharmacy to be a profession that evolves over the years. So it's more like a continuous learning process when you are in this field. And it dives down to like knowing about like drug interactions, patient counseling, monitoring patient. That's in the fact of community pharmacy. So when we have a clinical pharmacy and it's also just broad. So it paints on the part that one wants to study on and yeah. 
that's it that's it so yeah this is during my summer internship training program at the pharmacy community pharmacy guys and another system this is what they use for the stock control and the pharmacy in cyprus they use this application called the pharmacon which is related to the one they use actually in Turkey to help them keep up okay guys i'm done for the day the <laughs> and i'm actually going to school because i need to make custom findings that's my pharmacy over there and this is the way to my school it's the glow for me oh my lord anyways um it was actually a fun time at the pharmacy guys and like i said one of the major challenge is the language right oh let me wear my sunglasses on more this sun it cannot it's not for me yeah so one of the major challenge is language right but then it was so amazing like trying to get familiar with the drugs the names of the drugs actually there are different trade names though but there are some drugs that with the same generic name but different trade name so that's just the differences and there are some that's just the same ingredients and so we're just trying to get familiar with the active ingredients the trade names the generic names and all it's another major challenge is the doctors and writing oh my god me i don't know how those doctors used to write prescriptions or but anyways <laughs> guys so today is my last day at the pharmacy i'm so happy <laughs> you guys you need to tell my joy i'm so happy yo finally done 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 i'm going home it's friday i'm so happy Anyways, I'll see you guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. We're gonna see you all in the next one. Okay, guys, so here's all this back face to face. And this is so our job. We are our perspective, and we're just checking the patient records, medications that they're using, interactions between them, and the likes. Then bringing you to the pharmaceutical chemistry lab. Okay, guys, your favorite assistant lecturer. <laughs> Love assistant. Anyways, guys, so the students they just came here, and today they learned. I taught them about like basic lab safety and lab equipment. You know, yeah, these are some of the lab equipment. Going to show them and demonstrate to them. They are all gone now. Yeah, this is the foam wood where we put our concentrated solutions and all like acid, concentrated acid. So some of this uh, fume, we are not to inhale them, right? Because it causes like side effects and all. So we put them in this fume wood. So yeah, and there's a way to kind of turn it on. The light and we kind of adjust them and it makes this kind of a sound this is some of the chemicals in the lab yeah these are the wardrobes for them and we have several rooms to grab these wardrobes containing different ones this is the vacuum oven where we actually dry up our glasswares this is the rotary of operator and that's the reflux apparatus. We have the magnetic stirrer, and then we have our measuring scale and all other apparatus. So it's actually a very you know nice experience, you know, teaching the students. I took it off even as a child. Like, oh, oh my god, how is it going to be? But you know, teaching even from small in church kind of Sunday school debates while growing up doing some presentations I'm more of like outspoken so it was not a big task and challenge for me <laughs> so yeah I was really very happy like the students understood what they were taught just told them the basic lab safety lab equipment and why safety is actually very important in the labs because we have to be very careful when handling anything in the laboratory right? because we're dealing with chemicals and some of these chemicals are actually concentrated so it can be like a reaction explosion that's why why safety is actually very very important in the laboratory also making use of the equipment appropriately right for, for instance is the granulated 
cylinder yeah it's for like accurate accurate measurement of volume of some of the solutions and solvents piece of it for instance you cannot be using a beaker to measure like a volume of solutions and all so we have to use accurate equipment for all our measurement okay. i'm going to be showing you guys some of the sentences that you know i did actually although i tried first with my advisor my professor of agriculture but then she said i'm going to do it now on my own so basically some of the sentences we're going to be doing sentences of aspirin chlorobutanol we're going to the benzodiazepine so yeah stay tuned guys see you. Uh, you know we are using polymers in organic solvents mm -hmm. so if sometimes if it dries it could block the injector Guys, this thing was actually a very interesting one after Miriam and I worked in the lab in our deal to say that we go out on a lunch together. It was just so amazing. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this very episode. We're gonna see you in the next one. Love you all. Bye.